Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of March. Now, keep in mind that you, I know a lot of you are going to be watching this in February. Um, it may resonate in February, but this is for March. Okay, this is a preview of what's to come in March. So let's just see what comes up. What do we have for Aries from March? Bread. Period of prosperity and abundance. So some sort of abundance is coming. You're going to have plenty. There's nothing to worry about. Weeping willow. Family sorrow. Well, you know, I said there's nothing to be worried about, but... When you got family sorrow, that can cause stress. July, something to do with the month of July. Uh, or July is when your prosperity comes. You know, is when your prosperity and abundance comes. Um, I do believe you're going to be, obviously you're going to be dealing with some family sorrow this month. Um, but, you know, things are going to get better. Things are going to get better. So, I mean, it's a reality. I mean, it is a reality. So, it is what it is. You know, you could be dealing, I feel like you may be dealing with the family sorrow right now. It could be right now. And, and, and family sorrow can come in many different forms. You know, there could be an argument with the family. There could be a loss of a family member. You know, whatever it is, you're dealing with that right now. But things are going to get better. By July, you will, uh, you know, you'll be in a period of warmth and happiness and abundance. Okay? So it's a temporary situation, you know. What do we have for Aries? Balance. Justice. Okay, this is karma. It is justice. It's everything turning out as it should. Um, this is uh, the universe rebalancing the scales, bringing you something that you deserve. Something is going to go in your favor if you're going to court or if you have any dealings with the law. There could be news of legalities. If there is, it's going to go in your favor. Um, this is a final decision. This, it, it, whenever I see this card in particular, I think of the magician card because of all the elements. So this is uh, somebody taking action that does bring success, calling in something as well. There's thoughts here with that eleven card. So somebody may be calling in something. Um, whatever is happening, you're going to get what you deserve. This is a month of rebalancing the scales. Okay. Um, truth coming out as well. So there is some sort of truth that is going to come out this month. Um, may have to do with a family member. I'm not sure. I just pushed it over there and I, that's what came to me. Um, doesn't have to be. But whatever is happening, there's a final decision that is being made. Everything turning out as it should. Um, a fair and just decision is going to be made. Um, Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So in regards to the romance, I mean, you, this is, remember I said the 11 is manifestation. Positive thinking is manifestation. Your thoughts become things. So you are manifesting something during this time. You are. And, and by July, because it takes time to manifest, things don't manifest overnight. Okay, by July, you're going to be re re reaping the reward of whatever it is that you're manifesting, whatever it is that you're calling in. So make sure that your thoughts are positive during this time. You may be going through some, and it's interesting because we have attraction on the bottom. Attract. This is the law of attraction. Okay, I'm going to let you read it. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Let me reword that. You attract romantic love or you attract positive things into your life by thinking positively. We go by that card. Anyhow, so what you think is what you attract. So you really, in February, right now, you may be going through some sorrow because I, I put it over here. So you're going through some sorrow, whether it's with a family or a relationship or whoever it's with. Try not to let that get you down and remember to think positive because your thoughts are manifesting. You are attract, attracting 
whatever it is that you're thinking. And you have some power this month because with all these elements, when I see this card, it reminds me of a magician. Magician is a very powerful individual. And this is, if you think about this, okay, magician has a one on it. This one has two ones. So this is double power. You have a powerful connection this month to manifest something. The power is in your hands. You have to be honest with yourself. You have to be truthful with yourself. Okay, your your thoughts are really, really, really manic manifesting to a double double power this month. Okay, whatever. I understand that some of you may be going through some family sorrow. You may be weeping. You may be sad. You really got to change your thoughts. And I know it's not easy because you have to grieve. You know, you may have to grieve, but you know, do the best that you can to be balanced you know because you think about balance you think about the scales on one side you know you got to be balanced you got to balance your emotions it's okay to grieve but you know it's okay you know that we all have a negative side we all have a positive side you know try not to stay in that negative or that sorrowful um mindset you know it's okay to be there a little bit or you know equal even an equal amount of time because you think about the, the scales make sure that you are going to the other side as well emperor on the bottom this is about taking charge it's about taking control it's about being in control this is a master this is your energy you have all the skills this it's all about you're in charge you are in charge okay you are in, you're the boss you're the boss um this is somebody that uh is in a position of leadership okay and i feel like look at you got your armor on you know you're all protected you know, and I feel like you are in protective mode. Maybe you're trying to protect yourself from something. Um, there is going to be a decision. This is the decision maker. The decision is up to you as to what you want to focus on. You're going to be, and this is a decision as well. So you're going to be making a decision this month. A, a very uh, prominent decision of some sort. You're going to be making a de making some sort of decision. You're the boss. You are the boss. Cool. Now this is a fresh start. It's a new beginning. This is exciting. You have an exciting new beginning here. You do. You're going to need to have faith. Don't let fear get in the way. This is about leaving something behind. Starting with a clean slate. Stepping into new territory. Starting a new chapter. So you're definitely going to be starting a new chapter. Starting a new journey. Not, it's almost like you're, you're starting, you're completely from the beginning. Zero is even before one. So this is starting completely from the beginning. Starting, you know, uh, completely from scratch. And, it's, and, it, and this is a time to be carefree. Don't, don't, no worries. And it's interesting that I said that in the bottom, at, at the beginning. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just do it. Whatever it is that you got to do, let go of that fear. Let go of fear. Four of Swords. And Four of Swords is the death of a situation. So, you know, it's the death of a person, death, death of an idea. It's, it's, it's uh, a retreat. Somebody may be taking a retreat. They may be taking a break. They may need to heal or they're... Uh, well, you see the Three of Swords. Whenever I see this card, I think of that Three of Swords. It's painful. That's pain. That's that, but it's the end of pain. I feel like it is the end because we have a new beginning here, and this is in the past. I feel like somebody has been taking a break, or they have been uh, isolated, and they've been hurt. But that's in the past. It's in the past. You're about to get something that you deserve. Okay, balance is about to be restored. Mm -hmm. Strength reverse. Now that's poor health. Commitment, happiness, reunion, walking away, betrayal, defeat, surrender. There's definitely some sort of conflict here that pushes somebody away. We have somebody here that isn't in good health. You know, they've been depressed. That's what you need to leave behind you. 
You need to leave. And fearful, both of these cards, you know, you need let go of fear. Don't have, no fear, no fear, no fear, no fear. There could be fear of commitment here. Fear of marriage, something like that. Anyway, this is the end of, for some of you, it's the end of loneliness. You're definitely going down a new path. You, some of you may be going into a retreat, and I don't know where that, or you may be retreating. You may be going your own way, you know. Uh, some of you may be going your own way, you know, um, going into a period of healing. And maybe it's because of family sorrow. There's healing that is needing, needed here, okay? There is healing that is needed here. There's obviously been some betrayal, or there will be some betrayal. I mean, the Five of Swords is a hostile situation. Whatever this hostile, they're marrying each other. Whatever this hostile situation is, it is coming to an end. It is. And there will be happiness. There will be a reunion or a get-together. Um, there's going to be a get-together. There's going to be um, a celebration of some sort. There is. There's a lot of fear, though. Fear. Fear of something. What is this fear of? Fear of the unknown. There's fear of the unknown. Hmm. Now, this is victory after sorrow. There's going to be some sorrow. You're, and you may be dealing with a sorrow in February. But this is being recognized. You could be getting some public recognition or being recognized or getting some support, support from people. We have somebody here that has fought a tough battle, but the battle is over. The battle is over. This is um, the end of a painful situation. This is liberation. It's freedom. This is freedom as well. Freedom from a painful situation. So this is a month where there is victory, making progress, headed towards success. This battle is over. So somebody has been in a painful situation. There is a, there is a wounded warrior here or a wounded, or this person probably has been wounded, but they're healing. They're going to be healing from something. This is somebody who has fought a good fight. They've they've been hurt. I can see that they've been hurt. They have. Now it's time to relax. It's time to heal. It's time to uh, end the battle. So we definitely have a battle that is ending. I feel like there's there's some sort of collapse or uh, liberation or freedom. Uh, there, we have some poor health here. You know, it feels. I mean, this is poor health, and this is extremely painful. So something is going on here. Um, may or may not survive. What the hell is this? Ten of Swords Reverse. This is freedom from a painful situation where there's been a lot of betrayal. There's been betrayal. There has been a lot of betrayal. Anyhow, there's going to be a reunion or a get-together or a celebration. We have somebody here that is very fearful of acceptance, but they're going to be accepted. The end of suffering. Um, somebody has betrayed another person, you know. There, but then, but there could be a reunion. Um, there could be. There, there is an opportunity for happiness here. A lot, extreme happiness. You know, there is. We have somebody here that is weak. They're very, very weak. They're not healthy, and I don't know who that is. If somebody really needs to focus on their health. This is like a hard time getting up, getting up. So we've been having somebody having a hard time getting up, you know, having a hard time waking up, having a hard time, low energy. But this is this is uh, making progress. This is a month where things are gonna, you're gonna make some sort of progress. I feel like somebody has been. This, this is a draining energy. It is a draining. Somebody has. Has, I don't know if there's been some sort of abuse or there's been some sort of, but well, obviously there's been a conflict where you're dealing with somebody who wants to win at all costs. This is walking away into happiness. Whoever you're dealing with, they don't, all they, they, all they care about is winning. All they care about is winning. All they, this is somebody who likes to fight and they don't, they don't care if they hurt you as long as they win. That's all they care about. So you're dealing with somebody that just wants to win. This is the end of the battle with this person. This is walking away. It is literally walking away into happiness. You are moving into happiness. This is exciting. This is, this is definitely freedom. 
freedom, freedom, freedom. And you have something arriving. You do. You have something arriving that is going to make you happy probably by July. Somebody here is ill. I'm just, I just got to be honest with you. They're ill and, and they, they really need to focus on their health. And maybe that's what, that's what needs to happen right now. This is like starting over. I'm going to start over today. I'm going to focus on my health today. I'm going to focus on me today. You know, that kind of thing. Restoring balance. Doing what you think about the magician. Doing whatever it takes to bring success. So I feel like this is a month where you are going to be in your power. You're going to be starting over. Okay, you may have relapsed, you know, you may have relapsed or you may have done something, you know, to go backwards, you know, and it's just about killed you, you know, or it's a near death experience with the Ten of Swords reversed, you know, or it may or may not survive. I mean, that's a Ten of Swords reversed. You know, we have somebody here that needs support and they're going to be getting support. Okay, support is, a, is around. Um, there is could also be an arrival. Okay, with that Six of Wands, this is somebody that is very confident, very strong. This is a warrior. This is somebody that may have already fought a similar battle. This is somebody that um, is all done fighting, though, is all done with a competition, you know, is ready to just relax. Relaxing is, it's time to relax, for one thing, but it feels like, it feels like there's depression and poor health and lack of courage and lack of confidence and lack of ambition feeling inadequate feeling like you can't do it feeling like you're not good enough somebody has really hurt you or made you feel you know like you're you can't do it you can do it whoever you're dealing whoever you were dealing with that belittled you and made you think that you couldn't do it uh walk away from that person you know don't give them your energy Anyhow, Aries, I feel like this month you have a new opportunity. It's very exciting to leave something behind because when the fool starts a journey, he leaves or he or she leaves everything. It's like just takes the experiences and steps into the new life. You know, I'm taking these experiences with me and I'm starting over, you know, and I feel like, I feel like we have somebody here that has been mentally exhausted you know, it's just time to let it all go. It is. It's time to heal. So we have somebody here that is giving up a battle. It's like, I'm done fighting. I am done. And I feel like there's a lot of support on your, you know, endeavor, on your departure or your decision. Because this is a decision that is being made. And I remember I saw the emperor, which is a decision that is being made. I feel like you are going to make a fair and just decision based on some sort of truth, based on some sort of facts. This is the end of a painful situation. It feels like you're you're taking charge. You know, you're taking the lead. You're taking that leadership role. You're making an, an, a decision. I feel like you're making a decision. And I feel like it does lead to extreme happiness. It absolutely does. After there's been some sort of, I don't know if there's a death or, or what. Um, because this could represent death and this could represent death and that could represent death. Now, death doesn't have to be a physical death. Death can be a... a an end of a situation that makes you grieve. You know, we grieve over all kinds of losses. So this is, and I mentioned, and I've mentioned the grieving a couple times. So I feel like you've been grieving over a loss, and I feel like it's it's really time for you to progress forward. And I feel like you're all done. I think that you're all done playing games. I think I feel like you you're done fighting. You're done with the battle. You are. You don't want to die in this situation. It's made you physically ill. It's made you physically sick, you know. And I feel like um, you're really going to be turning your back. I feel like you're going to be turning back your back on uh, a hostile situation and um, yeah, you're going to be turning your back on a hostile situation. And you may be getting together with somebody else. You may be getting together with somebody else. There could be somebody coming into your life if you're single or whatever it is. This person is a hero. This person is a savior. This person is a warrior. This person um, is confident and strong and noble and has already been through a similar battle. I feel like this person has already been stabbed. And I feel like that you could be coming together with somebody that um, can help you to heal. This is somebody that can help you to heal from a betrayal. Um, 
It could be another Aries, just saying. It could be a Libra. Could be um, I think it could be an Aries or a Libra. Um, yeah. Anyhow, there's you. Some of you um, may have felt like you weren't going to survive, or you may be. I mean, this could even be a near death experience. It could. It could. I feel like that. It's and it's a wake up call. It is definitely a wake up call. Um, anyhow, I do feel like you are going to be finding your resources to restore balance and start with a clean slate after you've been in a situation that has been very unhealthy. Um, somebody may have pushed you away and that may have caused the, you know, sorrow. It feels like somebody has pushed you away. Definitely a hostile situation that is coming to an end because somebody is choosing to leave. They're choosing to leave. And they're, and they're going to be extremely happy with their decision that they did. Anyhow, by July, you're going to be in a very abundant situation because of the decision that you are making this month. Good luck.